Okay, what's up everybody? We are in New Brunswick here, New Jersey, and we're on the corner of Wack Wake Off and Stone Street, but somebody wrote a D on there, so <laughs> if you can see that, we're on Stone Street. Stoned. <laughs> okay, we've got some characters out here. So, um, yeah, we're gonna walk around here in New Brunswick. It's been a while since I did a video. And uh, today, right now, it is 527, October 24th, 2024. The weather is about 67 degrees. We're gonna walk down East Avenue. College is back in season. Rutgers. So, I don't know if there's a lot of people walking, but we're gonna check it out. And uh, I got the Pocket 3 camera going here. Got the microphone in my hand, so hopefully you guys can hear me. I haven't used this camera in a while. I haven't been on the scene lately. I've been so busy with my company, with Pibri, getting everything rocking and rolling. Yeah, you guys check it out, P-I-B-R-Y. P -I -B -R -Y. Let's take a stroll down here. We're by the Scarlet Pub right now. I got it set to 4K, 30 FPS. almost like a practice run because it's been a while and my voice is a little raspy because I had gotten sick um, <laughs> the last couple weeks I couldn't shake it Crazy. yeah I started driving a, a school bus because I have my CDL class A so um, yeah I've been working on that been doing that for a little while so it's like a side gig here um, because when you have a company, sometimes you got to bootstrap. So I'm talking to the business people out there who, who know what I'm talking about. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's good to know. I mean, to learn it, you know, that when you start a business, a lot of time, you know, you have to bootstrap. You got to get the money up, funding, all this and that. So if you want to be self-funded, you got to do that yourself and there's a lot of ways of going about funding you know uh, venture capitalists you know stuff like that but uh, you know there's a lot of different ways Thursday. Thursday's a popping day here in Rutgers. So it depends on where, I guess. And uh, the weather is okay, not so bad. I got the microphone in my hand. My voice is a little different because I'm <laughs> just getting over sick. So it's going around bad around here. So. Especially driving a school bus, man. Everybody's sick. But yeah, so, um, you know, it's good to expand your portfolio. It's always a good thing. So, I had the Class A CDL, and um, so yeah, I said, you know what, I want to expand my portfolio, get the S on there. So I did that. It's good to have on there, so so I'm getting through that right now. Um, 
doing doing some driving. But, you know, I'm an entrepreneur, so being an entrepreneur is what what uh, really matters in the long run. Yeah, so uh, walking around New Brunswick here. Yeah, so it's been a while since I've been video on the video. So also I've been studying AI a lot and um, chat bots. So I have a, a section, um, a new um, um, umbrella, like wing under the umbrella, Pibri AIX chat bots and stuff. So. So it's a big focus. But yeah, there's more college students around here. We're in Rutgers. In this video, I'm kind of just talking through the boring section, but we're getting, you know, with no people. But now there's people, so we're just gonna walk.
up to this way. Now the mic two here, it's going red, so maybe the battery's low. No, I don't know. Very possible. guys can hear me in the microphone. It's in my hand. It's real low, but we're going to walk right here by the Barnes & Noble. Coming up to Somerset Street. It feels good to be walking around. It's been a while. Back on the scene. seeing the old school shirts like that. Okay, not, nothing going on down there. So let's walk up this way. We're on Somerset Street. We're going to walk up to Easton and then make a left. We'll walk up to the town, right in the middle of town, George Street. What's going on up there? College is back. Best time to do videos here. New Brunswick, Rutgers. Party City. You know how we do. We like to put the Asian girls on the camera <laughs> in a classy way, of course. So I just follow the camera.
Albany Street. I hope the microphone's still working okay, but if it fades out, it's because the battery is low, maybe. It's red, so I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I don't know everything about this microphone. I gotta study it tonight. It's been a while since I've been using this camera, so. The Pocket 3, such a great camera. But I've been just so busy, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. There's not a whole lot going on right here. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna chime in when there's not much going on. But yeah, we're walking here. Um, this is Albany, right? Well, French Street. This is French Street, I guess, yeah. But it's like Route 27. But we're going up to George Street. George Street is where the uh, there's a lot of restaurants. There's a lot of cool stuff going on. Most of the time, it's a little. Uh, it's not. It's not cold, but it's, get, it's starting to get a little chilly. It's fall, so I don't know if you guys can hear me. I got the microphone in my hand, like I said. I could clip it to myself, <laughs> but it's okay. I'll just hold it up whenever I talk. more and more homeless people. Things are getting so expensive and it's getting crazy. I'm not all political, but you know what? I'm voting for Trump, <laughs> definitely. He's the better. I mean, we need the inflation to go down and it was better when he was in office. So yeah, I'm Christian, so he lines up with the values more. I don't trust any of them though. I don't trust none of them. But the direction he would go in is better. Not to be political, because I'm not I'm not left or right, but I'm like integrity or not. So I'm like up or down, you know? I don't care what they say, who they what they say, it's what they do, you know? So yeah. But yeah, we need inflation to go down, we need we need things to happen, so things to get better. You guys probably can't hear me with the microphone down. <laughs> Popeyes, Smashville. Smashville, what happened? There's nothing, nothing there, Smashville. Wow. <laughs> Maybe they went out of business or they just moved. Maybe they moved. <laughs> yeah, my voice isn't the best today. It's just okay. my nose a little bit <laughs> this is a practice video this is the first video in a while 
So this is kind of a practice video. Not a whole lot going on up here. Oh, Fantuan is here. They're uh, they're Chinese, Chinese delivery. Yeah, maybe I'll come back. I'll give some of my my information too. Yeah, that might be interesting for you guys. I'm a little sick. Though. I'm not sick, but I'm just like my voice and everything. But I'll, I'll uh, leave them some information. This is NIC. Noodle is calling. <laughs> Love it. They got fun one. I got a lot of Asian um, restaurants on my app. So um, kind of Asian based. The Asian menus are easy. You got a menu? Should go? Yeah, cool. Cool, brother, thanks. I'll leave one of these too. Hibri. Hibri. Asian restaurants on there too. So we'll add you. Cool, brother. Oh, this is a nice little menu. Okay. Noodle is calling. Noodle is calling. Cool. Noodle is calling. Pretty easy menu. See? Sorry, guys. <laughs> Apologies. Apologies. I don't like to say the word sorry. It's not alpha. But once in a while, it slips out. I say my bad. Or, um, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> but yeah, so just, it's a little, little alpha, alpha thing there. What's up, brother? Huh? That's pretty cool. <laughs> nice trick. <laughs> cool, man. <laughs> but, <laughs> there's like a, a statue next to that guy. I don't know what he was saying. Yeah, um, yeah, if you guys order DoorDash, Uber, Grubhub, any of those, the, uh, you know, in my situation, I don't have a big menu team to put on the menus yet, so the Asian um, menus are easier than the other ones. And it's because the attributes, so there's no extra this, extra that, and egg rolls and egg roll, you know? <laughs> So that's kind of, kind of why. We had a state theater. We're up here by the theater, Livingston Avenue and George Street. Um, yeah, this is the state theater. New Brunswick Performing Arts Center, technically. State theater. They have quite a bit of shows here. It's a good place. In this area, local area, it's a cool place. If you're, if you're into seeing the shows and stuff. Yeah, that's... Um, Waving Girl, Seward Johnson, 1982. Wow, the breeze is so nice. Yeah, this is the first practice video. So 
I'm going to show what's coming up right there for you. Pretty cool. I don't know about. Um, I don't follow a lot of mainstream things. But, but I know who Chevy Chase is, Dion Warwick, you know, I know who they are, but I don't follow a lot of it. So busy with my own stuff. And, um, you know, it's try to keep my uh, entertainment as Christian as possible. Nobody's perfect, but um, as Christian as possible, we all stray a bit. <laughs> but yeah, as long as you're learning and you're um, staying in the know and doing everything correctly, and that's all that matters. You know? So what is this up here? Okay, there's some people walking. Checking it out. We don't need a battery hookup yet. Okay. This video, we're in about 33 minutes so far. The microphone is red. <laughs> I don't know exactly what that means. Maybe it means recording. Honestly, I know this means that the sound is full, and then when it's green, it means that the sound is um, on wind, um, like uh, control, so you don't hear the wind. Wind protection or whatever it is, and it's lower, so I keep it loud, I keep it on the blue. <laughs> but the red might just mean recording, I don't know, I really don't know. It's October now and I haven't used this since uh, middle of September, so about a month and a half. But I haven't used it, used it, I think, in about a month and a half. Yeah, something like that. But it was, uh, over the summer, I used it a few times. It's still new to me, this camera. It's still new. It's a great camera. The Pocket 3. Exactly. Yeah, guys, you're looking at the end goal here. This is the retirement goal. Walk around with a camera, like Action Kid. You guys have seen the Action Kid, right? Yeah, like that. With my own style. Everybody's got their own style, own thing in the, in the channel and this and that. They say niche down. Pibri's a super app, so it's kind of hard to niche down, but I'm trying to niche down as much as possible. So right now, I think my main focus is uh, the AI, the chatbots, AI agents, things like that. Flexible. 
No, I don't smoke, man. <laughs> Sorry, brother. Cool guy, chilling out with the girl, with the statue girl. <laughs> Pretty wild. But yeah, yeah, like I was saying, AI, it's, it's the future. It's gonna be as big as the internet or bigger. I'm not against AI, I'm against bad AI. I like soft AI for good things, not bad things, you know what I mean? Got some cool pictures there. Maybe he drew it himself. Pretty cool. Let's see. Why wow, you drew yourself? You drew it? Yeah. Awesome, man. Great. Appreciate it, man. God Great bless work. you. Great work, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank Here's you. my card. Maybe I can promote you. Oh, nice. I'm a hit you up, all right? Cool. Pibri. Cool, brother. All right. I'm Brian. I'm Brian. I'm Christopher. Cool. Yeah. I'm doing YouTube right now, so you can shout yourself out if you want. Oh! My name is Pierre Christopher Lee Cadet, right? And on Instagram, it's Handcraft by Glock Lee. H-A-N-D dot C-R-A-F-D. And then, yeah, that's the B Y G L O K K L E E. Cool. And then my, awesome. my main page is PCLC underscore after each letter. Appreciate cool. you, bro. Awesome, man. No God problem. God bless you. Have a good one. Yeah, hit me up. That's me. I will. Peace. Good to get out in the open. It feels so good. Yeah, that guy's taking his spare dollar, I think. I don't have any money on me, nothing. See, it's getting tough out here. But yeah, it feels good to get out. Oh my goodness, this is the retirement goal right here. I think this is my favorite thing to do, to walk around with a camera. <laughs> I don't think there's any other like gig that I like doing better. Just walking around with the camera. Building a YouTube channel. I don't know if you guys can hear me. I had the microphone low again. But yeah, so um I hope you guys heard that guy before with the art. I should have the camera up here. I should have the I mean the microphone. That's the camera. <laughs> Somebody's sick. <laughs> Get back to show. Jump. And jump. Yeah, pretty wild. Sometimes you never know in New Brunswick. It gets a little wild sometimes. But, um. Yeah, like I was saying, this is the coolest gig. Walking around with the camera. I love it. This is the retirement goal. Walking is very healthy. Just walking around with the camera. Great job. <laughs> Building a super app is a lot of work. So I've been still, I work on that like 18 hours a day in the office sometimes, you know? Um, so I'm in the marketing phase right now. So a little, um, you know, business information for you guys. Like business, you know, right now everybody needs some kind of guidance with business. I'm not saying I'm a business expert. But um, I'm just saying um, there's a lot of uh, phases that you got to go through. But one thing that I learned that I wish I, I, I would have known in the beginning is, you know, you got to set things up. And what I'm doing is a lot of setup, a lot of setup. It's a super app. So I got taxi delivery. I got food delivery. 
I got um, pros, like, you know, booking, like booking pros. I got a lot of stuff. I got like a Facebook marketplace kind of thing in there. Um, I'm chat bots. I got a chat bot AI agency. <coughs> so, I mean, that's just the name of a few things. Um, building out a lot of the categories and stuff. Pastors, I want to spread the gospel. I might build some Bible bots. I want to maybe build a Bible bot I'm thinking about. I don't know, maybe some kind of Bible bot. bot. And then people can, um, you know, churches can put it on their site. Things like that, I don't know. But um, my point is, uh, you know, I have a lot of things to build, a ton. But it's a good idea. No matter how much you got to build, it's tough when you got to build a lot and you're building the structure. But it's a good idea to focus more on the sales than the building. Like 80% on the sales and maybe 20% on the building or something like that. You know, like 70, 30 or, or just... 60, 40, like try to focus on the sales, like get the money coming in every day. Because you can build and build, then next thing you know, you're like me, you gotta drive a bus. Because all you've been doing is building, and then one day it's like, man, I got so much money going out, I gotta drive a bus. <laughs> and you know, I have the class A, so I got the S on there, and boom. But yeah, a little, little insight for you. If you're starting a business, or if you're, um, you know, thinking about it, or if you have a business, and you're like me, and you've been focused on the infrastructure, you have to focus on the infrastructure. And when there's people, I stop talking. You know what I mean? It's just, I'm talking to fill the space, but I'm giving you guys some good stuff. I think I am, at least, hopefully. But you have to build the infrastructure. You have to. But you got to also separate it to where you're making money. No matter what, if you've got a bootstrapping job, make that your income for the day, you know? If you're doing an Uber, you're doing a DoorDash, or get into Pibri, <laughs> come here, you know? Um, Make that, make Pibri your income for the day. And we'll promote you too, whatever your company is. You know, it's gotta be legal, of course, you know what I mean, but I'm saying, that's, that goes without saying. But we'll promote you. <coughs> Rock some laundry deliveries, sell some chat bots, whatever, you know? But it's a very important, um, very important piece of insight. It's tough though, when you have a lot of infrastructure to build, it's tough. Not easy. Not easy. When you're, in the beginning, you're probably by yourself or you have a small team. Then you drive a bus and all the kids get you sick <laughs> for two weeks. Then you got nothing coming in because you're just in bed all day. Not driving a bus, not, not pushing sales, nothing. Got to prepare for those kind of things too. Sickness, storms, all these things. Wow, this, this place is the reds. Wow, I don't see nothing going on here now. Reds. Looks like they're office building now, huh? Wow, this used to be a happening bar. Like, kind of like a clubish. But uh, yeah, they're transforming over to an office, wow. Yeah, times change and things move with the stores and things like that, so it happens. Yeah, another, another insight for you guys, too, that I learned is you never want, you know, and I know a lot of people know this, but I want to break it down a little bit even more, is don't put your eggs all in one basket. And um, I don't mean that just in, like, a job, like, you got this job, um, maybe you got 10 jobs in the same category, you know, but you got to make sure it's an evergreen category or a category that you can withstand if something happens in the world. Like if it's a driving job, what if you lose your license and you got 10 driving jobs, what do you do? Then you got to learn something else. So 
have different eggs in different categories of baskets. So like, say you're a DJ or you're a photographer and then you drive a taxi, you know? Or you work at a, a restaurant, you know? So different categories. But if you work at, if you work at three restaurants, you might be all right because the restaurants are here to stay. Some close up, but at least a restaurant, you know there'll be another one. But you know what I'm saying, don't, don't put, paint yourself into a corner. If you have a certificate or a degree, work outside of that, because what happens to that degree or if something goes wrong? What if the laws get changed and then you gotta, you gotta go to more school or something changes, the money goes down or whatever. It's always good to keep different eggs in different categories of baskets. Unless you're sure that category is solid, then you're good. Like even, even delivery, like say something happens with delivery. I, I got the AI, you know, you wanna have different things. Homework and you want work from, to work outside. You want videos, you know, do videos, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, different basket categories. But yeah, we're on Easton Avenue. Got a nice cool walk in so far, pretty dope. I'm not walking real slow right now. There's nobody here, so I'm walking pretty quick, like normal, but this is actually like my normal walking speed. So all these restaurants and bars, there's like a couple people tonight, not a whole lot. And I smell, um, <laughs> I smell some trees in the air, if you know what I mean, going on here all over the place. Which I necessarily don't like to breathe in, but I'm walking down the street, so what can you do? Ironically, I was already graduated by that time. Some cool Chinese people. I think it's Chinese, not, not Korean, maybe Chinese, but could be Korean. We'll probably hit up a Chinatown soon. <coughs> we'll see. I'm heading out to, uh, to Queens, um, to JFK next weekend. So we'll see. If I got time, we'll, we'll walk around. Um, we'll see. We'll see what I could do. Because I'm going there early, so it's hard to do because I'm going there real early. It might not be much going on <laughs> real early in the morning, but uh, we'll see. Maybe hit up to Brooklyn, because then I could kick back a little. It's on a Saturday. See New York City, a little tip for you guys. On a Sunday, you got free parking, so Sunday is the best day to go, and it gets packed too. So that's probably a reason why it gets packed in the city on Sunday, one reason why, yeah. Easton Avenue. This is the party street. This is the party section, mostly. In in Rutgers, New Brunswick, Easton Avenue. On a busy night when everybody's out partying, wow, this is the spot. Probably later tonight it'll be party city. It's still a little early when it comes to like 10 o'clock. The bars open, you know, the bars get more college friendly. You know what I mean? Like uh, more packed, more party friendly. Yeah, I used to DJ out here too. I used to party out here too when I was younger, you know, in the college days. I didn't I went to college a little, but I didn't go to New Brunswick. But you know what I mean? I went to hung out with everybody. Some of us went to college, some of us went to school, some of us went to work. <laughs> but right now everybody goes to work. <laughs> School's over, everybody's at work, basically. 
But my work, I like to have fun. I don't like to have no work that I don't like. Why, why go to work and you don't like it, right? Why? When you go to work, you should love it. Well, pretty wild. The battery's still pretty good on this right now. Pretty dope. The Pocket 3, great camera. We're shoot shooting in uh, 4K 30 FPS right now. Artichoke with Sally Pizza. And you know, sometimes we talk on, the, on my videos. Sometimes we talk on the videos here. Sometimes we don't. But um, I love to talk when there's like, air, you know, sections like this where there's not many people and it, it just keeps things grooving. If you guys are chilling at home, you know, it gives you something to, um, to hang out at home with, you know. Um, my voice is a little raspy, you know. I know sometimes I'm at home and um, I like to wa watch videos like that, like the Action Kid. Maybe he'll be at Coney Island up on the, on the, um, the rides, on the Ferris wheel or something like that, you know? You know what I mean? Like the walking videos where people are talking. But he does the same thing, sometimes no talking. But mostly talking he does. Wow, this is new right here, I've never seen this. I mean, the gas station's been here, but yeah, grand opening, yeah. Wow, so they got a nice little um, shopping center here. Pretty cool. This is a good spot for them too. Very good spot, because there's really nothing like that right here. There's liquor stores and convenience stores, a little bit, but not, no, no convenience store really. That's pretty dope. There's restaurants here. There's some liquor stores. You got the King of Kegs around the corner, you know. But yeah, the, the chatbots. I'm studying the AI and the chatbots. I have a chatbot agency. If anybody wants to sell chatbots, let me know. If you want to drive, let me know. We'll build out um, delivery in your area, taxi, whatever. All you need is a valid driver's license and everything. You know, just make sure your docs are right and all that. Um, I'm really focused on laundry delivery because it's not really tapped into that much. And it's, it can, it's, it's good. I have everything set up very well. If you go to Pibri, check it out, P-I-B-R-Y. Check it out, the laundry, Pro Laundry. If you want to drive, let me know. Just grab the app, the green app. Um, yeah, if you want, if you're a laundromat too and you need laundry delivery and you're a laundromat, let me know. Restaurant, whatever. It's hair salon, anything. So I'm looking at bundling some deals. Yo, Abdul, what's up, brother? <laughs> Long time no see you. How are you, buddy? Well, are you hungry? Yeah, good to see you. Long time. Oh, here, bro. oh you're here? Oh, nice. Food, I'm doing YouTube right now. So you're on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's cool, man. What is that? Time Machine. Oh, Time Machine? Google it. Oh, yeah. It's a franchise. Oh, nice. Yeah, I just started three weeks ago. Yeah. Oh, wow. Are you from Spotswood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. I remember. Remember? You, yeah, and you used to be oh, in the truck. Shit. Yeah, we used to come up. Yeah. yeah, but I worked at the Grand Union with everybody. Absolutely. Remember? Remind yeah, absolutely. Me. What's your name? What's your name? Brian. 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 Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's me. That's my company, Pibri. Hey. I'm a super app. I'll put you on the app too. Get deliveries. That's what I mean. That's what I got 130 saying. drivers. I got a lot of drivers. Wow. I got six apps. They're all connected. So. I'll tell my partner you put it back. Okay. And we'll give you what. Cool. All right. You got a menu? Of course. Yeah. yeah. All I gotta do is throw the menu on, and then we're ready to roll. <laughs> Just do the barcode of it, QR code. Okay. Look, okay. Okay. That's my menu. Look. Okay. I'll promote you too on the on the I'll channel. Absolutely. Look. This oh all, yeah. All authentic. Okay. Look, falafel, tawo. You know. Yeah. We're doing very well over here. Oh nice. Look how beautiful, small place. Yeah. And we use the stove. Okay. I just opened it. Oh yeah. Three weeks ago. Nice. Good fucking seeing you, man. Yeah. You After all this year, you remember me. Yeah. I just love it. Abdul. <laughs> How can I forget you, man? You're the man. Hey. We say at the bars, come to the drug. We'll talk. We'll, we'll yeah. I lost my voice a little bit. It's coming back. It's all good. But yeah, I got six apps. I'll show you. I wish my partner was here. He's going to give you a call. Cool. Yes. Yeah, so you put here. your name here, right? Yeah. I'm a super app. Um, oh, oh, you do, uh, but your name is not here, though. Yeah, Brian. Um, yes, uh, I'll, I'll text you. Yeah, here, let me, uh, 
Call my number. Yeah. Let me turn it off because it, so you, you know it's free privacy. <laughs> there we go. What's up, guys? Yeah. Yeah, Abdul. I know him from back in the day when I used to uh, go to the grease trucks here. The Fat Cats. They started the Fat Cats. You guys know the Fat Cats. You've probably heard of the Fat Cats before. Um, yeah, New Jersey was where the Fat Cats started here in New Brunswick. It's famous all over the country now, the Fat Cats. Stewart's has a Fat Cat, Stewart's restaurant. But yeah, he was giving me some personal information, so I turned off the camera um, out of respect. You know, I tried it whenever, unless they want me to share the personal information, I don't, you know what I mean? Like sharing his restaurant's different, but you know what I mean? Um, so, uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, so he wants to rock with the Pibri. So he said, um, you know, get him going here, get the drivers. We've got 130 some drivers right now. <coughs> I'll tell you, it's not easy building a super app. Delivery, delivery company, not so easy either, but, um, you know, putting it together, got to make it happen, you know, teamwork and everything. So, but yeah, that's our walk today here in New Brunswick, 626 right now. Yup, it's uh, Thursday, October 24th. It's getting a little chillier out. We're looking at, um, let me go, to, okay, 63 degrees. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that's our walk today. This is the practice walk, first walk out. I'm trying to get my walks going. I haven't had the time, so. But I wanna um, get things rock and rolling. Right now, we're Pibri Prime. That's the name of our channel. If it changes, it changes the name, but I don't know. Because it was Plento. It was Walkie Walks and more. It was Walk Epic in the beginning. Um, but Pibri's the brand, so we might just keep it Pibri Prime. You know what I mean? And keep it uh, as family friendly as possible, walking around. That's the goal. Um, you know what I mean? So <laughs> we, we try to keep it fun, keep it cool, and keep it lovely. Keep it beautiful. You know what I mean? So everybody have a great day, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.